Hello guys. It is the day before the day we move. Well, the night before. This is our bedroom currently. Got a little setup going on. Pretty much everything in here is something that is breakable, so needs wrapping. So we've got all of our mirrors. We need to take this mirror off the wall, but mirrors, we've got artwork, mirrors, side tables, consoles, and you know, coffee tables and all of that. So we've bought loads of bubble wrap, but essentially this room is also empty and done. We just need to take the TV off the wall tomorrow night. And then the sofas, kitchen looks like this. Rob Blessing has been helping do the last bits of the cupboards. I'd left most stuff in here, like essentials, like bare essentials, a couple of dishwasher tablets, um, some mugs and plates and stuff. Everything else was empty apart from our seasonings and stuff, which he has put all of our dry foods and seasonings in here and then baskets and everything else miscellaneous he's put in here. And then our task for the rest of the evening is to pack away all of these breakables. Um, we actually do have far too many wine glasses. I never realized this, but I am gonna donate these wine glasses. I'm try trying to do them as like sets and things like these that are probably not the ones I want to keep. And yeah, just do it that way and see what we can, we can get rid of and like kind of minimize on. And then we're gonna be packing an essentials box as well for the move. And essentially that's gonna consist of like two plates, two bowls, two knives, two forks, a mug, and a couple of glasses or tumblers to drink from. So yeah, that is it. It is, as I say, it is, we still have a full whole day in the house, which is tomorrow, Monday. We're meant to be moving on Tuesday and today is Sunday. Everything is still so up in the air. I literally get like, my stomach drops when I think about it. Like I managed to just distract myself for, you know, a couple of minutes or half an hour or so. And then when I think about the reality of it, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't actually know if we're moving on Tuesday. So yeah, I just wanted to update you. It is the night before the night before and we're so close to being finished. Good morning, guys. Let's well, not. Today is the morning before we move. This time tomorrow, we will be loading up our trucks, ready to get on out of here. Um, I am, it's still very much up in the air at, at the minute. We don't actually, we haven't exchanged. Our sellers haven't actually returned their documentation yet. Well, they have, they are in America, so it's had to come by airmail. It's meant to arrive at the solicitors today at noon. It's currently 11 a.m. I have had the worst night's sleep I think I've ever, ever, ever had. I don't actually think I slept. I think I was up the entire night thinking, are these letters gonna come through? Are they gonna come through? Are they gonna get put into the right hands? Are they gonna be completed properly? Are they gonna get signed off in time? My stomach is just like, I've been trying to dismantle all the furniture in the garden. This is actually a really good thing. Dismantle your garden furniture because it would have taken up two things, three things would have taken up that whole van already. I've dismantled everything and I'm still not even sure if it's all gonna fit. So yeah, I'm in the middle of taking down the table and chairs. I've done the most of the rest of it. It's keeping me distracted, which is good. And um, yeah, I just feel so up and down at the minute. I don't know, oh, I feel weird, I feel weird. So the guys back in the van have finished up. Oh my God. People told me they are worth their weight in gold. I can absolutely agree. They were fantastic for such a long haul trip as well. The fact, I think I got some footage, but honestly, the way they packed everything in, it was like sardines in a tin. We could never have done that. They, they're gonna get everything in two Luton vans. I'm gobsmacked, but they have now gone. Rob has gone with them because they need to go to our storage unit to go and collect the last pieces. I'm in the house by myself, like anxiously um, awaiting updates from the chain. We're about two people in out of six so far and it's currently like half 12-ish. So fingers crossed everything's gonna go well. I don't think we're gonna get down south till a little bit later today. I anticipated it being around five, six o'clock. I think realistically it might be around eight o'clock now, but it's all good as long as we get down. I don't care, we'll fling our mattress down. I've got fresh sheets, put the fresh sheets on, have a quick shower, freshen up and sleep and tomorrow is the, the new day. But enough of me going on. I wanted to do an empty house tour. 
so sad but we're gonna do a quick one because by now you should have already seen a proper house tour well a kind of proper house tour this is it empty so let's go back is against the front door and we're coming in i've got last minute pieces that are going in my car and the first door you see on entry is the dining room so this is it looking all empty we decided to leave um the blinds and the curtain poles up for them a because it was gonna <laughs> hello <laughs> Sorry about that, my mother-in-law ended up coming because she needed to pick something up quickly um, and I just showed her around the house. So now it's your turn, back to it. So, I don't know what we got but we'll do the dining room again, we'll start again. I kind of remember it being this size, I don't think decorating it has kind of, you know, reduced the size and the appearance of it or anything and I don't think when we had stuff in there it did that either. However, what I would say is we would definitely go with a smaller table and chairs. When we first bought our big one, it was far too big for this room. It pretty much filled the whole thing. And then we got a smaller round one, but the round size, though I love it, it, it kind of, it's bigger than you need it to be. So I'd probably just go for a smaller square one in here in the future, or this would actually be a beautiful office, I think. Like being able to see out the front, you can hear when parcels are coming and stuff, and you just get a bit of, you know, like nature, inspired to go for a walk all of that good stuff um one thing that i'm noticing as we're taking stuff down is there just is naturally occurring stains that happen around pieces of furniture that are hung for a long time there's discoloration where sun doesn't manage to reach certain places so like we had a cabinet here and you can probably see that yellow that's the i think it's linseed oil in the paint and if the uv rays do not hit that it doesn't keep white so that's why oil based um architrave paints and stuff are good in rooms that get a lot a lot of light at all angles but if you have a room where it doesn't get a lot of light or you know you're going to have stuff butted up against the skirting board then you're probably better off going for water-based which is like a quick dry satin sort of one but anyway this is now turned into a diy so we're going to move on into the downstairs loo and still looks pretty much the same we just don't have as many ornaments on the sides our hand wash and soap and stuff's gone i've left them some toilet roll there just in case and yeah bye bye bathroom that was a really good project i loved that project i love that wallpaper so much i'll be sad to see that go and then moving on i've switched off the heating and we took our heating and thing thingy meter readings before we leave today so that we can make sure that our bills are correct when it comes through. This is how the living room looks. We took our TV out. We had a little bit of a boo-boo up here as I was taking the wall lights off, a chunk of paint come, came off. I was a little bit too rough, but um, I wish I just had a little bit of paint to touch up. I would love to touch up some of the little areas for them. Like here, there's a mirror where the mirror used to be. There's a bit of a stain there, but you know what? It could possibly have ended up being just like a waste of my time because you never know they might have decorators coming in asap to do stuff you just never know um but this is what the room's looking like i'm not gonna lie it feels really really big now that everything's gone and yeah it probably would feel big naturally because all the furniture's out but this is the sort of room that if i were to come and view this property i'd be like this is a good size living room yeah this is really good like love this and then once you get your sofas in and anything else it quickly becomes much smaller it is a good size living room do not get me wrong on that definitely is but just for the i think is why we didn't measure our furniture when we first bought it it was our own fault we could have probably gone for smaller sofas but and what i'm trying to say to you is like think of a space with more than how it looks in front of you if you're looking for new houses and stuff try and think that sofa's pretty big that's going to take up all of that da, da, da. just so that you're not surprised like we were when you move and stuff doesn't fit and it feels cluttered quite quickly okay on to the kitchen kitchen is looking pretty much the same as it always has this just looks like when we first moved in to be honest um all of the appliances are built in etc etc so um yeah that's there's not really much to say cupboards are empty we've cleaned them all we've given given them all a bit of a wipe down and um, we've disinfected all like surfaces and stuff i've cleaned out the fridge for them as well i'm sure they'll want to do their own cleaning when they get here but we just wanted to do a little bit of something we couldn't do loads and loads because last night was honestly we were all packing till about 11 o'clock last night and then we had to get like some logistical stuff sorted out so i couldn't clean as much and then when we had the the movers in we um as they were coming through like there was just mess along the floor and i kept trying to hoover and rob was hoovering and all that stuff but 
We couldn't get it as clean as we wanted to, but we really have tried. Quickly run up the stairs. Doesn't really look much different on the staircase. And we've got our main bathroom. If you have seen this makeover, you'll remember this was, this was a long slog, but I was so happy when we finished this bathroom makeover because look at it, it's beautiful. Our main bedroom, look at this. This was the first, one of the first paneling products I ever did. And I did this, I did this like three and a half years ago. This was one of the first things that really helped my Instagram page take off because no one had really done paneling like this. I'd seen it on like one other page. Um, and then I was like, I can do that. So I did it. And I think cause I did like how to's and DIYs and guides and stuff. That really helped my little account boost, but I'm still so proud of that. It still held up so well. But yeah, look at this. This is the room. We've got our Juliet doors here. And then looks like that again. This room feels really big when you stand inside of it. But once you've got your bed, like you can see the bed took up this whole space, bedside tables, the wardrobes are in that end. I think if we had the privilege to as well in the future, we would probably not put wardrobes in our bedroom. Um, just look how much space that opens up maybe like a really small dressing table or like a little reading nook or you know something just to help keep the room really open i know we don't all have privileges like that and it's just a kind of nice to have but if you can do it i think it's nice to have your bedroom as just your bedroom um, and then we've got the ensuite which is another little makeover we did probably in the last year and a half this was for Rob and we went with this blue colour and this is very not typical colour for me it was Gluxe's colour of the year but I love it I still love it so much and I think it really helped to brighten up the mood when you come in here to get ready in the mornings it does really perk up your mood and as you can see the sunlight hits so nicely in the mornings so yeah and then a little built in shower really good size boy effects we love this moving on hallway didn't really do much took down the mirror sold the radiator cover that i made this is my old office slash our second bedroom don't look at that don't look don't look don't look if you remember we had a really tall mirror inside there and in order to make it flush and you know I'm such a perfectionist, I wanted it to like sit flush against the mirror so it looked like the mirror was inset. We had to cut through that wood and I just didn't get enough time. I really wanted to get another piece of wood, finish that off, paint it white for them, touch up all the paint in here, but I just, <laughs> we ran out of time. So this is how it looks. We've had some frames on the wall where you can see where they were. <laughs> you know, there's little bits of patching and little touches up and stuff that they need to do, but it's definitely livable we've cleaned in here as well as much as possible and then we've got the office that was rob's office this was probably one of my favorite rooms in the whole house the paint color on the wall it picks up so much nicer in person it's nestled by crown one of my favorite favorite colors ever and just the light fittings when we had the beautiful long curtains in here this paneling as well is one of my favorites and Rob had a huge circle mirror there, his office desk, and this room really treated him really well. Again, a really decent size. We even had a sofa bed in here for people to come stay. Really decent size. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Let me see what this is. That was just Rob on the phone. Um, we're trying to figure out how we can stall our movers a little bit without paying £80 an hour to have them wait. So, um, yeah, he just, I just said to him, we're gonna have to just risk it then we're just gonna have to set them on their way down and if it comes to it and we're not ready to unload blah 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 when we get down there then you know it is what it is and then we have to see what what price we pay for that but this is the risk with such a long chain and not having it exchanged the day before do you know what I'm, i you know what i know is gonna happen this always happens when something big happens and you're like you have all this pent up like anxiety and like stress about it and stuff and then once it's finished and your body can relax, it's almost like your body purges itself. And it's like, okay, I've been holding this all back. I've been building up walls and barriers for you to protect you so you can get through this thing. But now I know that you can chill. You need to let this all out. So I know I'm gonna get super ill. I just know. Hello. Guess which key it is. Look at her hands are shaking and also. Why is this not just any of these keys? Oh, that's what I've got on it. Okay, it's this one. Uh, come on. Yay! Oh my 
my god, I forgot what it looked like. Oh my god. Is any of that first for me? This is going to be happening today. I can't believe it. I'm in shock still. I'm genuinely in shock. It's not hit me yet as well. I think it's going to hit me and I'm going to like cry. I feel so like. Thank you. Uh, this one in here, please. Thank you. This is good. Go up and make the moon oh, upstairs. Look at our house. And look at this. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. <laughs> look, Christmas tree. Garland. Garland. Yeah, Parlance, stockings. Parlance, that would be. Stockings. Uh, TV. TV. I'm going to buy you TV tomorrow. I can't actually wait. I'm just going to buy TV tomorrow. Are the tomorrow. lights not working in here? I don't know. You I'll be trying. Oh, there we go. Oh, even that one's working. Oh, is that that other button? Is yeah. that the last one? Oh my god, they actually work. So it's only three years old, yeah. max. Um, yeah, so it in. says F28. We know that means that there's no gas being sent to it. Yeah. But I don't know how to change that. Sorry, once we mum and I get here, we'll dish out a couple of jobs. Someone can Google that and find out what to do. All done. Your meter and your smart energy tracker are now paired up. E tutorial. We don't have any drawers in our kitchen. Surely we do. Nah. What? So the knives and forks go have to go in there. That's not even drawers. Do we actually not? Nah. Oh my god. Do we actually not have drawers? What kind of psychopaths don't have drawers in their kitchen? Oh my god. Do we not have drawers? Nah. That's not real. Do we seriously not have drawers? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh wait, that's not drawers. That's not drawers. That looks like drawers, but it's actually a cupboard. How have we not got drawers? What? <laughs> they put in 27 cupboards, but no drawers. In it? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. 
there's a massive grin on my face if you couldn't tell i'm so so happy we have finally moved into our new home it has been a long time coming and we have had the most stressful 48 hours which i will have filled you in about already in probably the previous video so if you haven't seen all of that drama and chaos please go and watch that video to get up to speed but for now we're in our new house and i'm so happy um we're gonna just have the evening my mum and dad are coming today i want to make the living room a little bit cozy for us to sit and get like a little takeaway and i just wanted to show you our quick food shop that we got which just made me laugh and i was like i have to share this with everyone so obviously we've literally just moved in we don't even have a fridge and we've just figured out that we actually don't even have drawers i don't know how this has worked out but we don't have drawers so it is what it is at this point but we went and did a little food shop we picked up the most random stuff we've got some bananas we've got some part baked baguettes we were meant to pick up soup which we didn't so they're going to be useless we got some mr kipling angel slices some ribena fanta is a must in this household and we got the lemon too we got the fruit twist and the lemon which are our favorites as it stands we actually don't have a fridge so we might have to just leave them outside because now it's winter temperatures are like eight degrees so it's basically a fridge we also just we basically just had to get snacks um because we don't we don't we can't put vegetables or anything anywhere no fruit so we got some what's it for tonight pancakes for the morning chocolate bar cakes for me maryland cookies for my mum and dad they're coming now um to come and see the house and some apples as well and then we got a big multi-packet of crisps for everyone just so that everyone's got snacks if they come here and then we also picked up two big rolls of kitchen towels because it's going to be heavy duty cleaning for the next little while um but yeah and also i did bring food from the other house most of it was dry foods and we also made sure that we just basically bought no more food for the last couple of weeks that we lived in the house so that we could use everything up and nothing was really going to waste we did so well with that i had to put like the bare minimum stuff i had to give to rob's family to take home to eat but other than that we were able to bring a few bits so i've got some eggs a few veggies that have been out of the fridge for a day or so but i'm sure they'll be fine so tomorrow i'll probably be cooking up kind of like a mismatch of stuff but i've been waiting a long time for this the renovation of our new home we're gonna have so much content so if you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe turn on your notification bell so you never miss a video from me and we can start to get into it i'm so excited i'm now gonna go and make the living room a little bit more cozy switch on the cozy lights clean the floor hoover everything i started earlier um i hoovered and cleaned behind the sofas but i just want to do the rest of it now so that me and my mum and dad and Rob can kind of sit down and just chill for the evening. And then we've got a couple of friends passing through as well, but that's going to be mainly a tomorrow thing. Ah, I'm so happy. I just can't believe, I'm still in shock. I can't believe it's happened. I think I'll only really just be like, wow, tomorrow morning when we wake up in our new bed, new bedroom. <laughs> I'm so happy. since we bought this ottoman bed four years ago that we are able to put the ottoman storage at the base of the bed because it's gonna fit i'm so happy it's got it fit. well i need to drag it in can you help me yeah. Come on, i can't believe we're gonna have that at the bottom of the bed i'm gonna feel so bougie
Yeah. Like I'm so tired that I'm not tired. It, it's the kind of sense. it's the kind of tiredness like when you've been travelling in airplanes for a long time and you haven't really yeah. slept. And you're just on like autopilot mode. Yeah. I would say you're still functioning very well. Yeah. I, I don't know how because honestly earlier today I was dead to the world. Honestly, I was like, you know, at probably two o'clock this afternoon when everything was possibly going wrong. I was genuinely thinking like, what? That's, how am I going to do this? Yeah, I was just like, I don't think I'll make through most of the rest of the day. I'm far too tired. I, I picked these ones because they're the heavy ones. Yeah, yeah. Because it's cold tonight. Yeah, it's a good child. So it will be cosy. So cosy. Okay, and up. From the end. And... Up and down. Oh, look at that lovely boat. Oh, I can't wait to get in that. I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited. Oh. So we don't have any bedside tables at the minute. No, we could use this bedside tables temporarily. Oh, the gold one. The two glass circle ones. Do you want to go get them? Yes. They'll work in here. Good shout. tonight because it is cold our heating isn't working um, I think it's because it's been switched off for so long we might need to call British gas or something because I don't think they're necessarily like they've not like connected us because they didn't know we were coming our bad probably but um what was I saying yeah well our heating's not working but I feel really cozy I actually feel really warm I love it it's so cozy I can't wait to get into bed. So I think now I'm going to have to have a bit of a cold shower just to freshen myself up a bit. I don't want to get in our new bed all like, you know, manky. So I have a little bit of a shower and then, then we're going to go to bed. I can't wait. We're so tired as well. The time is currently, it's 10 past 12. I didn't realise that it was that late. So we're going to go to bed now. Mm -hmm.